terms of a uh, uh, overview, it comes from the all the the idea of digital transformation of the the CAD models of architecture, and then take it to the next level of making right now something that allows us to understand how things work in a completely digital ecosystem. So th this interacts with the uh, interacts with the concept of digital twin. And the digital twin is a much bigger, larger concept. And this, I think, one of the challenges, and that's why I wanted to talk with you as an expert, but as well, these terms are still full of, uh, I would say, paradoxes, because most of them are still being used by extra industry experts and professionals like you. But most of people get confused, okay, business information modeling, business information management, and then, of course, digital twin, that is a much broader term. So if you could as well highlight how we do from the BIM to the digital twin, and as well, if you could describe the digital twin from your technical background. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yes, as, as you mentioned, digital twin is, is, is more abroad than uh, BIM, but let me simplify it. When, you are, when we are talking about the digital twin use cases and implementation, we are talking about the dynamic live information about the current ex as is status of the assets. The BIM is sharing with you the static data for what had been built at any point of time of the project life cycle. For example, during the design, if you are going to back to the BIM model, you will be able to see the static level of information. But when it comes to the digital twin, you are adding the dynamic word of it because there is an integration with uh, the information to uh, uh, support the performance of the asset or the element at any point of time. So the BIM can give you the basis and above this uh, uh, base, you can build by getting the information from the IoT and sensor equipments in order to learn more about the behavior of the asset. And by, by all means, all these technologies had been verified and used based on the value that, uh, that they are adding for the uh, users. So in the digital twin side, the major and the very important a pillar for the benefits gained from them is related to providing the client or the user, whoever, with accurate information about the asset performance at any point of time. Secondly, based on this information and based on the analysis of this information, you will be ending up with <clears throat> empowering the decision-making process for about any of your assets, either to add, to remove, to demolish, to uh, uh, make a rehabilitation, you, you name it. So simply, as I mentioned before, people started the process of engineering documentation by hand, developed that to AutoCAD, then we start seeing the 3D AutoCAD, which was giving us good information with good visualization, sorry, with no information. Then early 2000, 2010, uh, people start using the BIM solutions where the information had been enhanced, the level of information had been enhanced, the quality of the uh, engineering documentation had been enhanced, the process of engineering, in, in, of engineering during the design, during the construction had been enhanced. Reaching out to today's, we are hearing a lot of terminologies and a lot of techniques that can be adding value to the construction industry. And the good thing that we are looking around ourselves and we can see most of the industries are affected by the digital solutions and the transformation. The construction industry is not uh, an exception by all means. We need to get the benefits of the new softwares, the new approach, the new uh, t technologies that can support uh, the quality of our products, either if it is a drawing or if it is a, 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 construction, a, a construction itself or during the design or any point of time, or if we are going to think about minimizing the cost and minimizing the efforts and time that are consumed for delivering any of the projects. And when it comes to the digital twin, that I can say the second wave 
in, in the engineering uh, industry, which is giving you accurate information about your assets at any point of time in order to facilitate the performance, uh, the asset performance analysis and empower the uh, decision-making process by uh, the user at any point of time. When I say any point of time, um, I mean at any life, uh, life cycle stage, starting from design, going through construction, handing over operation maintenance until demolishing of your assets or, or your construction project. <laughs>